I'm Richard Lewis reporting for Carabed.org, still here at Copenhagen Games, and I'm here with Copenhagen Wolves, the local team, and once again, Rugger has managed to finish 7th to 8th. Device, he wasn't aware of the uh, curse before he joined the team. <laughs> but let's just uh, talk about that. I mean, 7th to 8th, come on, dude. When's it going to end? Uh, actually, we hope for uh, the blast next month, but uh, I don't know, maybe never. <laughs> uh, honestly, though, I mean, 7th to 8th here, it's not all that bad. It was a real tough uh, event, lots of great teams. I think it, it, with the Danish championships included, you proved that you can play against anyone, both domestically and internationally. You know, at any line, you need a bit of luck. Yeah. Maybe you didn't get that. Uh, can you be philosophical about it? Well, uh, the matches we lose in the main tournament was against 3D Max and Seacrest, both against really experienced players. We're still on the paper of a new team. And then with the addition of a device, we haven't been playing so long together, so leading zero to nothing against Seacrest and throwing it away, yeah, experience I think. And I want to ask you as well, this was sort of your first real international LAN, and you're meant to be another one of those like cheating Danish kids, onlineers, whatever you want to call them. How do you think you performed and do you think people will give you more respect now? Uh, I definitely hope they will give me more respect because I've never really played uh, this good at LAN as I did at this LAN. But uh, I always thought I played as well LAN as online, but I didn't have any great teams yet. So it's finally, it's good to finally get a good place. Were you feeling under any pressure? I mean, individually, and if you were, uh, you know, how did you deal with that? Because I know it's always tough. It, we've seen it with a lot of uh, young players who've been accused of cheating and have these reputations, and they come to events, and sometimes the pressure gets to them. So. What, what, what did you do to deal with that, if you did feel under pressure? Uh, of course I felt uh, a lot of pressure, because I've had a lot of accusations, as you say. Uh, I don't know really how I dealt with this, but uh, I, I didn't feel the pressure when the matches were on, but uh, more when they, I didn't play, I could feel next match I got to step up and stuff like that. What do you make of him then, this kid? Uh, I'll ask your opinion, you seem to have played with everyone in the Danish scene and <laughs> dra dra dragged them to 7 to 8 finishes. Yeah. Uh, do you think this guy's got a great future or what? Uh, for like one and a half year ago, I definitely thought he was cheating. But uh, after been boot camping and playing with him at this land, I'm sure that he is the next to be, should be careful for. He's really good. Have been dropping over 20, 20 frags at every CT side besides the 3D Max game. So definitely potential. You can identify a little bit with that though, can't you? Because people have said you're an onliner and you're a cheat and you're this and you're that. And you've come to this land and... I think you dropped a lot of 20s in half, certainly in the Danish Championships where I was behind you for a lot of the games. You seem to be playing as well as I've ever seen you play. What have you done differently before this event or is it just luck? I think it has a lot to do with um, not being the strat caller anymore. We have uh, Thomas XLO who has taken over, who, who has a, a lot of experience from 1.6, been to ESWCU, ESWC and stuff like that. So I, I can just play my game now. And uh, we have been playing really good, really good together, me and Device, holding almost every spot together. So we have built up a, a good communication and teamwork. So it just comes out of that. And I'll come back to you. Uh, Danish teams, right, they, they don't really last, do they? I mean, you know, I, every time I'm writing a news story on Cadre, it's this Danish team's changed this player. I think one of the uh, things about the Danish scene is you've got like a lot of talent without a doubt, but no sort of cohesion, no stability. Um, do you think this team has a future? Are you going to stick with these older guys? And now that you've maybe played well, do you have one eye on jumping ship and joining someone else? Um, I, I have jumped to other clans a lot of times, but I really think this team would last because we always speak of things after the matches and go to our a car and speak about the stuff but after the match. And I've never done that before with another team. And it feels really great to get uh, out of the stuff you can maybe be mad over for losing a match. And, yeah. and what about you? Same question. I mean, you've been in a lot of teams and you've been in a lot of teams over the last six months yeah. even. What's different about this current Copenhagen Wolves lineup? If it is different. The difference is uh, the ambition, I think. We have been very ambitious before, but uh, it's the first time that we, we can see it pay off at LAN. We were at HK LAN for two months ago. And we performed well, even though we haven't played a lot. It was with Ruda instead of Device, but we still we, st we played a lot. Uh, we played good and almost uh, beat Reason Gaming and drawed with Sire Gaming with one month uh, of experience. So 
with that result, um, we, we just felt like to improve even more. What about as well, you know, kind of the lay of the land in terms of the Danish scene, and either of you can jump in on this. Reason and finished seventh to eighth, uh, Zaira finished above them. Uh, arguably, Reason had a harder time of it, but then again, Reason did just scrape through the groups. Yeah yourselves you're kind of in that equation who do you think is the best team in Denmark right now or is it too close to pin that tail on that particular donkey I think uh, from my point of view it's between us and uh, Saya Gaming but if you look at the results it's between us Speed Gaming and Saya Gaming I think uh, Reason Gaming are really good online proof again that they have been raping everyone the last couple of months and then proof to, to yeah, go out early in the tournament. It's not like them to do that, so... I mean, but I don't know. I think everyone, anyone can beat the, each other. And we have value, who beat Reason Gaming early in the tournament. We have a lot of good teams in Denmark, so it will be random the next couple of months. Who's, who's the best? I don't know. Well, I want to ask you a little bit about speed gaming. I know uh, maybe there's some players there that you can kind of identify with, you know, young guys, reputations, and they've kind of pushed through. And I think speed gaming have been very, you know, uh, a solid team. I think they've proven a lot of people wrong. Um, I mean, do you look to them and think, you know, that we, we can, uh, you know, our, myself, I can do something like that, or what they're currently achieving? Yeah, I've, all the guys of speed gaming are some good friends I have, and I really have a lot of respect in game for them when we play, because I know they can do random stuff like maybe I can do. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it really it's the random stuff that causes all the trouble. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like maybe do less of that. <laughs> And I feel like they got a good uh, caller, Regine, who has been uh, getting the younger players to perform a lot better than uh, maybe they could even in another team. So, yeah, I can really identify some things and maybe use some of the things they use, some of the matches. Well, last question. I know where the final's about to start. That's what all the fuss is about. CK asked the Finns and Very Games the French. I'll ask you first and then you second. Who's going to win and why? Very Games because speaking from my own match against Secrets, I don't fi I find them that frightening as they were at 30p land. I think Very Games is a level above them, really. And you, same question? I could see Secrets winning, but I really don't know why, but uh, maybe they are better, better on another computer because I saw Very Games had 900 FPS or something like that on their own. Maybe they can't get used, so, but I don't know they have a lot of... Uh, yeah, uh, what it's called. Uh, they have tried it a lot of times. Experience. They have a lot of experience at the stages, so they have a good chance as well. Yeah, he's a thinker. Yeah. Okay, well, look, great talking to you both, and uh, sorry about the 7th to 8th again. <laughs> Maybe one day. One day we're going to do this, and yeah. Oh, t sorry, t sorry, 5th to 8th. I've got it embedded in my brain. Yeah, it's the 8th that counts, yeah. though, right? But uh, commiserations. To all the people out there at Carrera.org, I'm going to get over and shoutcast the final now. So do stay tuned to the website. We're going to have more coverage, more videos to upload uh, before I leave Copenhagen Games.